आई एम नीरजा अ क्लाउड सपोर्ट इंजीनियर हेयर एट द ई डब्ल्यू एस ऑफिस इन नॉर्दर्न वर्जीनिया टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन व्यू ट्रैफिक पासिंग थ्रू एन एमेजॉन राउ फिफ्टी रिजॉल्वर आउट बॉन्ड एंड पॉइंट विल यूज द ट्रैफिक मिररिंग फीचर ऑफ एमेजॉन वर्चुअल प्राइवेट क्लाउड टू व्यू ट्रैफिक पासिंग थ्रू अ राउ फिफ्टी थ्री रिजॉल्वर आउट बॉन्ड एंड पॉइंट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन दिस सेटअप वी ऑलरेडी हैव अ वी पी सी ए एसोसिएटेड विद अ राउ फिफ्टी थ्री रिजॉल्वर रूल टू फॉरवर्ड टेस्ट डॉट कॉम डी एन एस क्वेरीज टू द ऑन प्रोमाइस नेटवर्क यूजिंग अ रिजॉल्वर आउट बॉन्ड एंड पॉइंट The on-premises network is hosting DNS records for test.com. For this example, a T3 large instance is launched in VPC A, which will be used as a mirror target. Make sure this target instance allows incoming traffic on UDP port 4789 from the outbound endpoint Elastic Network interface. To create mirror target in VPC A. log in to the aws management console and then navigate to the vpc console under traffic mirroring select mirror targets create the traffic mirror target provide the name and description for your mirror target under target type select network interface and choose the elastic network interface of your amazon elastic compute cloud instance that you will use as mirror target select create next in the vpc console select mirror filter in the filter settings enter the name and description for your filter for a query that's coming from the vpc sent to the on premises network in the outbound rules select the protocol udp for the source port range enter the ephemeral ports for the destination port enter 53 for the source cider block add the cider block of the vpc that has outbound endpoints for the destination cider block add the cider block of your on premises network next create the same rule for the tcp protocol the response will be sent from on premises network so in the inbound rules select the protocol udp for the source port range enter 53 for the destination port enter the ephemeral ports for the source cider block add the cider block of your on premises network for the destination cider block add the cider block of your vpc that has outbound endpoints next create the same rule for tcp protocol now select create next select mirror session in the vpc console then enter the name and description for your session for the mirror source select the first elastic network interface of your raw 53 resolver outbound endpoint for the mirror target select the mirror target that you created previously enter the session number for this demonstration i am entering 1 for the filter choose the mirror filter that you created previously similarly for the second elastic network interface of your raw 53 resolver endpoint follow the same steps for the mirror source select the second elastic network interface of your resolver outbound endpoint enter the session number for this demonstration i am entering 2 for the filter choose the mirror filter that you created previously to capture the traffic log into any source ec2 instance in vpc a as well as log into your mirror target instance on the mirror target instance install tcp dump and then run following command to start the capture from the source ec2 instance in vpc a query for the domain name using the dict command as follows 
because the tcp dump command is already running, these DNS packets will be captured. Stop the capture on the mirror target and log out. Verify the path where the capture file is saved on the mirror target. To transfer the packet capture file from the mirror target to your local machine, run the following command on your local machine. Finally, open the Wireshark tool to view and analyze the captured traffic from the IP address of your outbound endpoints to your on-premises networks, DNS server IPs, as well as the corresponding response traffic. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.